there's John, he's um, just um, sold me the van, the camper van there, and then uh, of course decided to move out. <laughs> So he's borrowed the van back. And of course, with that being the case, <laughs> look what I get to use for 10 minutes while I take it back home. <laughs> oh well. Knees must. Spitting a little bit. So I brought my, uh, my waterproofs. So yeah, it's a tough gig. I'm back on the... Uh, on the Riker for a short while. Well, John moves a few things from his apartment to his new apartment. He should be used to that vehicle. Yeah, right. this is good. Oh, this is in reverse. Worked it out, we're off. Right, let's see how we go. A quick spin out. This is awesome. So, you said it's got a full tank of juice. <laughs> what do we do? Do you know what I like in this too? And I was thinking about it after I rode it the first time. For you lot that live in the north of England, or anywhere in England, anybody that's been years and years ago to the Blackpool Pleasure Beach and had a go on one of them crazy dangerous rides that they had, they've probably still got them. There was one called the Mouse, or the Mad Mouse, I don't know what it was called, it was crazy. It was basically a small, roller coaster ride and it was bonkers you wouldn't get away with it now I don't think because you're not fastening you were fastening by fear gripped almost hard as you can but it had no it had no I can't if I remember either there was no straps there were no seat belts and it didn't slow down for corners and it used to throw you from side to side now imagine that on this because you can't lean it's completely different to motorcycling. The only thing the same is the fact that it's got handlebars. But you're upright. So imagine doing 100 k's an hour into a corner on your motorbike and staying upright. Imagine the forces as it forces you out. Now you've got no bucket seat, so it's not there's nothing supporting you. So you, you again, you've got to lean a little bit just to counteract that G-force into a bend. But also you've got to actually steer as opposed because if you push left on this bar like a counter steer to go into a bend you're gonna turn right not left so you push the opposite on a motorbike you see you push left on your bar you actually tip left and go left it's completely alien looks like an alien rides very alien but equally awesome it's just that's what I liken it to just just this just like a mad mouse that the, the, you know like a, a or a very fast roller coaster ride when you get thrown around in a, in a bend so they do it that mouse never used to uh, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach I'll have to find some images of it or a bit of footage and it was just it just didn't slow down for the bends they were just like 90 degree bends and it looked like it was made out of Meccano So anyway, we've got down here, you might better just see it in a minute, we've got a lot of great industry down here now, this is on the, the port of Adelaide. Um, this big building here is the new shipyard, we've got the submarine base further down as well, and um, that's all naval of course, now this is the shipyard that's been built, that's a bigger shed than mine that. Wow, right, 
Oh, I was trying to give it some. I can't because it's a 60 road around here. Friday. I think we're safe. It's Mondays, actually, on the on the western suburbs where they get the uh, camera cars. However, I'll be here. It's not my toy. And it's a bit damp. What? Now you see what happens if you crash one of these. Do you, you can't. Do you fall off it? <laughs> I don't know. Does it slide out? Do you stay on it? Do you jump off? You hope not to do any of it. Look at them buggers there, the Repay SA. <laughs> That's quite funny, that Repay SA is um, basically community service. Right, you've been naughty. We're going to put naughty vests on you and you're going to go out and do some littering get some tidying up done and clean up the graffiti that'll learn you right I'm gonna go around mm, nice new vans I'm gonna go around around about now and turn back on myself oh shall I just go all the way around it yeah so this is what I'm talking about you've got to turn like that stay there give you a chance and the like this grips like shit to a blanket you've got a fucking hell it's hard work actually you're literally pulling to turn right as opposed to pushing like you would on a motorbike and I'm not sure how fast I can go around here <laughs> shit the bed <laughs> right I'll do that'll do me I'm going to get dizzy. Does, does grip. <laughs> Woo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what a beast. It's, um, this, is, this is the 600cc Riker. For those that have never ridden them, one brake. It's the pedal. And that will, that will break everything. That will break to three wheels. Now, that's on your foot, right there. Then these pedals move backwards and forwards, so you can actually have your feet like that, where you put your feet, and that's on the mechanism where the brake lever works with it. And that is your only brake. You've got no gears. It's just basically that. And away you go. You stop, trying to tick over like a scoop. Now. got some cool features, it's got a reverse, which is a lever down on my left foot, little handbrake here, John's had a few extras done to this, because he never leaves anything standard, and he likes nice things, so a lot of the times when they come new they've got clocks up here that are mounted on the handlebars, they can use like this adaption here, and the clocks go further down, you could still add a screen to this, onto these bars, that would be a nice feature if you're going any further distance. It's got these hand grips on, I'm not sure that these hand bars, these um, back busters are standard, they may be. He's add, added, stay there Mr Hilux. He's added upgraded suspension, which is your Fox suspension, which is your more known as regards to mountain bike range for me. But cool little coil springs down there. I'm not, not I'm sure that's the same on the rear, it's all adjustable and beautiful. And there's so many more things you can do to them. And I reckon these are about 15... <coughs> 15 grandish new. And I think he's probably got a few grams of extras on it. Now, here's the question. Would I own one? Would I know object? Without a doubt, I'd go for one of them big ones, though. Maybe the 12... 1200. Maybe. I don't think... No, actually, probably not. I don't think I'd need to. I, I, I like this. Because um, it's not about riding the bloody thing fast, I have to say, I'm not I'm not sure I could handle the corners. I don't think I could keep... Co I'm not a Formula 1 rider, driver. Um, and then G-forces, if you're flying through the corners, it's, you could, you, if you didn't know what you were doing, you, you'd have to get better used to the steering. In relation to the push and pull and the force that it puts through your body. If you, And your arms get really strong, actually. If you were going through the twisties, you would definitely need some fitness. If 
we were going to go at any, any sort of velocity. So let's do a brake test on it, shall we? Like I said, we've got... Basically, the, the contact patch of, a, of car tyres. You can't fall off it as such. So you're not looking at keeping it upright. It will be upright. We'll go down this car park. And we're just gonna do a brake test. We'll do it from 60 k's an hour. Did anybody sign that car? There is. I'll just make sure that they're. Oh, they're just not looking at the phone. So get to 60 k's an hour. Brilliant. What was that? That is something you should do so you know exactly where you're at with, with it. The suspension's lovely. What a thing. One more brake test. 60. Yeah, that, that. You see, that is awesome. That is awesome. I'm sure John's done that. I'm sure he won't mind me trying it. A super thing, super thing, and wow, just eye bulgingly good. Because, like you say, you've just got a stamp on it, you're not gonna, you're not gonna skid, it's just gonna pull you up very quick. The, the, the ABS kicked in just ever so slightly. A rather splendid thing, right? Roundabout, <laughs> should we do another one? Can't do that one because there's a car coming. I'm just going to go to the next one. Too many cars! Too many people! I'll find the next one. You've got to be careful you don't clip stuff with your wheel. I mean, it'll take it because it's good, but look at the, that curb there. You have to clip that one and clip that one. A lot of people have. So I'm going to get to the next roundabout, maybe. I'm just going to try and see, feel, just feel the forces through the roundabout. Contrary to what you're expecting to do as a motorcyclist. Like I said, it's nothing nothing right now. Is anything coming the other way? No, so I can, yeah, there is now, but I can probably go and get all the way around. Are you ready? So it's a pull on the bars like this. Yeah, you see. Wow! I've almost got that front wheel off the ground there. got to really pull on it. Very interesting. Ah, see, I've just discovered something and I'm going to go back and test it. Because the way to do it, in fact, is not sit forward, is lean back, I think. Let's try that. I'll go back to one of these roundabouts. I just want to see how it feels. The trouble is with roundabouts, it's, it's all right. I'm Ben's here in this country. So I can't really test it on the left, but I'm just going to try something. Just one heel up. If you lean back and pull, rather than have your arms bent, you're losing a little bit of your range of movement. So I'm going to lean back and pull on it. Yeah, look, that's how it works. So if you lean back a little bit, see, if your arms are more straight when you want to turn and then pull, it seems to be a bit more natural rather than from there and pull. You, I think if you want to get a tighter pull, a tighter turn, if your, if your arms are a bit straighter, that seems to work a little bit easier for me. Like you say, it's trying things out, isn't it? Yeah, that seems to be a, a more natural way of doing it. Alright, crack on. See you later, guys.